friends welcome back in this video i am going to explain to you how to effectively use the pyqs in your upsc prelims examination guys my name is santosh pandey i have cracked the upsc prelims examination all six times with one of the highest scores ever scored by any upsc aspirant and one thing which has helped me to score very high marks and to crack all the six prelims is the right use of pyqs guys let me tell you pyqs are so powerful that if you learn to integrate the pyqs in your preparation then you can predict many questions in the upsc examination but the unfortunately most candidates they do not know exactly how to use the pyqs many candidates start solving pyqs only at the end of the year just before the exam thinking those pyqs are going to come in the exam guys upsc is not directly going to repeat those papers but what happens is that when you really okay learn to use the pyqs you will understand the trend of the exam you will understand what are the themes which upsc is focusing and then during your preparation okay during the preparation during the year when you are preparing when you integrate the pyqs you will understand that i am moving in the right direction so pyqs are not the destination okay pyqs are not the destination okay but pyqs are the direction pyqs will give you direction so guys only when you start solving the pyqs during your preparation throughout the year for example you are doing geography suppose you are doing geography right now and while reading the geography if you solve the pyqs then you will understand what are the themes upsc is focusing because upsc will not ask each and every segment of the syllabus upsc will focus some segments okay some segments are uh, trending segments so how do you understand that these are the trending themes these are the trending sections which you need to focus more okay it is through the pyqs only and if you do not solve pyqs in the initial uh, like days of your preparation and if you solve the pyqs only at the end then you will not have the time to okay integrate those pyqs in your preparation and today in this video i am going to exactly explain to you how solving the pyqs and doing a theme analysis really helps you so guys i have done what is that i have selected three questions i have selected three questions from 2020 2021 and 2022 and i am going to prove to you that how upsc is basically repeating the same theme upsc is not repeating the question upsc is repeating the theme so once you understand that these are the important themes then when you prepare those topics from your standard books from current affairs then you can basically you can okay understand that these themes are important and you can in depth prepare those topics and you can easily predict that in future these are the questions which can come so let me just show you so this is a question which came in the year 2020 you can see this this is a question on ground water this is a question on ground water you can see this consider the following statements 36% of indian districts are classified as over exploited and critical by the central ground water authority second top, uh, statement is the central ground authority was formed under the environment protection act and the third statement was india has the largest area under ground water irrigation in the world okay so the answer to this question was 2 and 3 the answer to this question was 2 and 3 so this means what this means that okay this question okay this question is basically based on the theme of exploitation of ground water exploitation of ground water and exploitation is happening majorly because of agriculture exploitation is happening majorly because of agriculture according to this question this we can easily infer okay so if suppose if suppose you want to prepare for the pre uh, next years if you want to solve this question and you want to, want to prepare for the next year so what will you prepare okay that is clear okay that ground water is basically the main cause or uh, ground water irrigation is the main cause of exploitation of Uh, ground water in india so you will might know okay what are the crops what are the crops which are water intensive okay what are the crops which are water intensive you might okay do some brainstorming what are the regions in which ground water are basically because this talks about the uh, over exploited region what are the regions okay so we know that punjab haryana region punjab haryana region has ground water exploitation crops we know it is paddy it is sugarcane okay then you can also prepare what are the ill effects what are the ill effects of ground water depletion ground water depletion so one of that ill effect is that 
because of ground water depletion what happens is that some of the times the ground water gets polluted okay ground water gets polluted so many places you will see because of over exploitation of ground water there is some okay some uh, like heavy metals get into the ground water okay so my point is that once you understand that this is an important theme ground water is an important theme then you have to do the comprehensive analysis of the topic okay comprehensive analysis of the topic ground water what is the major reason for ground water depletion what are the other issues related to ground water what is the geographical distribution of the ground water which areas are over exploited okay so this is what you have to do and now you see the very next year okay the very next year what is the question okay the very next year 2021 among the following crops which one is the least water efficient crop you see so one year back the question was on ground water irrigation and the next year the question is on water intensive crop the answer to this question was sugarcane as i told you paddy and sugarcane are the most water intensive crops in india okay you see you see the th same themes okay same themes they are repeating but you like you should not just stop at this question when you get the theme ground water then you have to comprehensively prepare this ground water topic from every dimension so that any other question comes from this topic of ground water you are ready to solve those questions again you see 2023 again you see this year 2023 again a question on ground water according to united nation world water development report 2022 india extracts more than a quarter of ground water withdrawal each year the second statement says that india needs to extract more than a quarter water ground water each year to satisfy the drinking water and sanitation needs of 18% of the world population so guys what we have understood from the previous two questions we have easily understood from the previous two question that it is not the it is not the drinking water or it is not the sanitation but it is the irrigation which has basically impacted the ground water because india has one of the largest area under ground water irrigation so obviously this statement will be incorrect if you have analyzed the issue of ground water okay after this question of 2020 guys you all know that 90% of the okay 90% of the ground water is used for irrigation in india is used for around irrigation in india okay so you can go and you can do some okay data analysis you will get a lot of details about this topic my point is okay what i want to say is that you can see for the last couple of years for the last couple of years last 4 5 years if you see there is a concern regarding depletion of ground water in india there is a concern regarding depletion of ground water in india particularly in the punjab haryana region particularly in the punjab haryana region so in future in future what can be okay other types of question which can come on the same theme so they can ask you question on what diversification of crops diversification of crops okay crops cropping pattern cropping pattern then micro irrigation micro irrigation okay so these can be some themes okay i'm not saying that these are comprehensive themes my only okay my only intent of making this video is to make you understand you see same theme okay ground water asked in 2020 next again you see irrigation ground water again asked in 2021 same theme and again you see irrigation again asked in 2023 the point is very clear that upsc okay is basically asking questions on themes which are very contemporary which are very important for the country but the types of questions will change every year upsc is not going to repeat the same question so what you need to do is that when you are preparing okay when you are preparing for the exam throughout the year for example suppose you are preparing okay geography suppose you are preparing geography so when suppose you prepare the topic soil suppose you have prepared the topic soil go through the last 10 years question you see what kind of questions have come on soil you will easily understand while reading this chapter you can easily if you solve all these questions you will easily understand what can be the next question which can be asked you yourself will understand but suppose you do not solve the pyqs along with the chapter rather than you solve pyqs at the year end 
at the year end that time you will not have the time to go and look into the books and to analyze what can be uh, uh, what can be the future questions you cannot do that okay it is only now you can do that so i have been telling all the aspirants that while you are preparing see still okay around 6 months are still remaining for the prelims more than 6 months are still remaining for the prelims so anyone who really wants to prepare sincerely for the prelims examination what you do is that you try to integrate the pyqs you buy one book okay you buy one pyq book and whenever you cover one subject or whenever you cover one section of that subject go and see all the pyqs which have come on that theme you yourself while reading the book you can easily make out okay the next question will be like this next question will be like that okay you yourself will be able to do that and this will help you in okay another manner when you, because you are reading current affairs you are reading current affairs so when you solve the pyqs you will understand okay this current affairs is important because this was asked last year so similar type of questions can come okay other aspects of the same type of theme can be asked next year okay this is how you have to do it so guys if you like this analysis you see how okay i have selected one theme so i have not solved questions okay 2020 all the questions together 2021 all the questions together 2023 all the questions together no what i have done is that i have selected one theme ground water and i analyzed what kind of questions are coming on ground water in 2020 in 2021 in 2023 and i was able to find out that upsc is asking the same theme of questions from the ground water which is the ground water exploitation because of irrigation because of irrigation so this is the magic of pyqs so guys if you really want to make use of these kinds of analysis please do follow our lakshya series in lakshya series i am making questions where i am analyzing the pyqs i am analyzing the current affairs and then i am preparing questions which are derived pyqs derived pyqs means they are motivated from the pyqs and they are motivated from the current affairs okay this means what suppose one question has come in the pyqs on the topic of ground water and suppose there is some current affairs on the ground water so integrating this and this i am framing this question that is why you see every year so many questions are coming from the lakshya series in the examination so guys this is how you need to prepare if you have any query feel free to contact me thank you bye bye take care